guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video just to let everyone know what is happening on Sunday. Um, <laughs> it's like so hyper, I don't know why. Hi guys, today I am filming a video for you guys to let you know um, what exactly is happening on Sunday. To this Sunday I have arranged a photo shoot event which is basically to, wear, to raise awareness to mink eyelashes in the world. Um, right now in Shetland, mink eyelashes are like this ridiculously huge popular thing right now. Um, I don't think a lot of people realise or care that mink eyelashes are made from an animal's fur. Um, I know a lot of people just don't care, which is a shame. A lot of places say they have cruelty free mink lashes, which isn't a thing that exists because you can't cruelty free an animal. Doesn't make sense. There's nobody brushing mink to get the eyelashes off of them. Mink are these really solitary, kind of hostile animal that are very similar to ferrets, but they, they're not like these tame animals that will let you brush them to get their hair for eyelashes. They're killed anyway for their fur, so either way you're kind of buying into these people being cruel to these poor little animals, which I don't find necessary because you can get amazing eyelashes that are cruelty free and not an animal. Um, I don't buy from anywhere that stocks mink eyelashes that claim that they're cruelty free but still sell mink eyelashes under their brand name as cruelty free. Um, I buy from House of Lashes or Jolie Beauty, both are cruelty free vegan brands. They don't stock anything mink eyelashes at all, which I love and I really hope they don't change that because that would be a shame because they're great brands. The only thing I have about House of Lashes is they charge customs, so I do get an extra like £15 on top of my lashes. I understand with a lot of makeup artists that they buy mink eyelashes because they come really cheap in bulk to the point where they'll be like two to three pound for a set of eyelashes and a lot of people sell them on for more money um, which is a bit skeevy but <laughs> um, but I just want to raise the awareness that um, cruelty free doesn't always mean that they are cruelty free. If they're still made out of an animal, they're still not cruelty free or vegan or anything that they claim to be. Um, so I am here to help raise awareness um, and give you guys some other options uh, that are cruelty free and you don't have to hurt a poor little animal. So today I'm wearing the House of Lashes Heartbreaker Lashes. And on Sunday, I'm going to use a variety of different lashes in different looks to show that cruelty-free eyelashes can be glam, can be natural, um, anything. They can, they can go any way. You can have them for anything. Um, I'll be using Jolie Beauty and House of Lashes lashes. I do have a discount for Jolie Beauty, which is Black Raven, which gets you, I think, 10% off. Just. In case you're interested and wanted a bit cheaper. I think their lashes are $9.99 each. Sometimes they have sales and obviously you get 10% off if you use my code. It is an affiliate code so I do get commission if anyone purchases using my code. If you don't want to give me commission then don't use my code. Don't get the 10% off. Um, I don't mind. Either way as long as you're buying from them and they get cruelty free lashes I don't care whether I get commission or not. It's just I wanted to give my clients um, and everything, the option of having money off because the price does turn people off because like you can get brands in like the drugstore that are like £5 and these being 9 99 is a bit more expensive but you can wear these many 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 times. Um, but most drugstore, drugstore brands are cruelty free. I do believe that Ardell are cruelty free I'm just going to double check that a second. Yeah, so Ardell are cruelty free and they are sold in the drugstores such as uh, Boots, 
Superdrug. You can even get them in Tesco, cheap as chips. Um, so that is an option as well, is most cruelty-free brands in the drugstore are cruelty-free, as I'm aware. Um, so on Saturday, we've got five girls coming. Um, we'll have one is going for a more cute, cutesy theme. Then we've got two going for glam and then two are natural. Um, so kind of normal glowing skin, um, very basic makeup. And then we've got my cousin who goes as Charlie. He's coming to vlog the day and video the day and do questions and everything as to why it's important for everybody to be doing this photo shoot and why it's important to buy cruelty free etc. Um, so yeah, he's coming to film the day and then I've got Emma Bird coming to do hair for the day and everyone's doing this free. Um, I asked the models for a donation to Cats Protection which I'll have the donation link in the description if you guys want to donate as well to raise money for Cats Protection. Um, what else have I got to say? Um, models. Uh, we've got animals coming on the day. We've got two ferrets, two rabbits and two guinea pigs. Ferrets are pretty much identical to mink, which is why I kind of wanted ferret to be involved because I thought it was a good kind of thing to show off that it's an actual animal that exists, not just fake hair that you're putting on your eyes. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I'll link uh, Charlie's YouTube in the description so you can see the video when it comes out. Uh, if you turn on his notifications, you'll get um, an email basically saying that he's uploaded it. Uh, and my photos will be up on my Instagram, which is Black Raven Beauty, and my Facebook, which is Black Raven Beauty. Um, I think that's the only places it'll be on. And obviously, my website, which is blackravenbeauty.wordpress.com. So those are the three places that my photos will be going up onto. Jeez Louise. All right, I need to go have my dinner now. So yeah, if you guys like this video and are excited to see the video that Charlie comes out with and all the photos that come of this day, like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, if you'd like to see more videos of photo shoots that we do, let us know and we'll be sure to make it happen. Um, Another one to check out is if you want to see the kind of thing that happens during the day but can't wait for Charlie's video yet, there is a video on uh, Katie's studio YouTube. She's done videos for my smoke bomb shoots so you'll get a kind of idea as to how the day will go through that video. S videos. Otherwise Charlie's should be up in the next few weeks if he depends how fast he edits I'm not sure <laughs> probably not as like slow as me I take like three years to edit one video it's why I don't upload very often but um yeah that's pretty much it so um I'll see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching um if you have any recommendations for brands of eyelashes as well put it down in the description so other people can see um yeah so bye what does it say um <coughs> oh my god I just choked on air